live reporters and meteorologists out there and each one that we went to they were just surrounded by tons of snow they so really the whole were. region whole region saw it this morning the real deal today uh, let's take a look at some of those higher amounts the region saw you know four or five inches i would say for most of us but those some some of those places that got stuck under that band of heavy snow earlier this morning picked up a lot more than that 14 inches, Tepper Lake, as well as uh, East Enosburg. So a lot of snow there, you guys. And we did pick up close to that in St. Albans, just over a foot for them. Saranac Lake, Lake Placid, at a foot of snow for you guys. And they weren't alone. We saw that amount for Rainbow Lake. Sheldon, right underneath that for Plattsburgh at 11 and a half inches measured there. North Hero, 11 and a half. Swanton as well. And again, these are just some of the higher ones. We had many places that were over 10 inches of snow from this morning. And we'll have a little bit more on the way for later this evening too. So those counts aren't necessarily done, even though we are finally in a little bit of a break from some of that snow. So here's that band now over Maine. Thank goodness that we have that little bit of a break. That heavy band though sat over northern New York for several hours and northwestern Vermont, which is why they saw the most of those totals. A little bit more of that snow right behind this uh, little break that we've got. This whole system here continues to spin. You can see the axis of it sitting right off the coast. This whole thing will wrap around over the next 24 hours or so. So as it slowly winds down and moves out, we are going to get more of those scattered showers that are sitting there right through over the Great Lakes at the moment, and we'll find some lake effect snow coming off those lakes for tomorrow, too. The good news, the worst is over with. We are very thankful for that as we continue to clean up and our roads will hopefully improve. A little more of that snow, like I mentioned, is still possible this evening. And we'll have some lingering snow showers on Saturday, but nothing as bad as we saw earlier this morning. Let's talk about those potential totals for the rest of the day. So through this evening, especially in the mountains, no surprise there, one to three inches of that snow are possible. I wouldn't even rule out that amount, maybe one, two inches, as low as a dusting or so for parts of the Champlain Valley as a couple of those little uh, bands of snow continue to make their way through. So we're not done with it yet. We have Eric Weglars who is out live right now in Plattsburgh to let us know what the roads look like there, but of course what they could look like even with a little bit more snow later this evening. Eric, how's it looking? Hey, Caitlin. Yeah, no, the roads are a little bit on the dicey side still in the center of Plattsburgh. We'll give you an idea as to how things look right now. You can see a lot of packed snow still on the road and a, a number of spots too. We were watching uh, Bridge Street, which is this road we're looking down right here, and a number of people got stuck coming up the hill because there's so much snow still hanging around for that matter as well. So crews are going to have some you know, more snow in their hands, especially this afternoon to clear off as well here. Notice too that a lot of the parking spots on the side of the street here, this is Margaret Street, are actually still pretty snow covered as well. So there's a parking ban we've noticed that's still in effect for tonight, and that is most likely to clear a lot of this snow off of the road. So again, this is some really packed down stuff. So I'll just give you an idea where you get close to the road here. If you see, it's really tough to you know move around so imagine a car driving on this is going to experience some issues getting through a lot of this packed snow going forward here so obviously Caden was talking about you know more snow on the way tonight it's going to be a bit of an issue i think for the evening commute especially around here uh, with some of the roads still snow covered that'll be a problem going forward here so uh caitlin again it's still a little bit dicey as we head on some of the area roadways but hopefully with some more plowing tonight things will be a little bit better for tomorrow morning Eric, yeah, I definitely agree. Just heed those parking bans, you guys, and we'll make sure the roads have a chance to get all that stuff cleared out of the way for your Saturday because we've got a nice looking weekend ahead of us, at least a little better than your Friday was. In the meantime, temperatures still below freezing. Of course, anything you have left over throughout the rest of the evening will likely be some snow because of those temperatures cooperating when it comes to that uh, temperature wise. We've got your alert icons through the rest of the evening, you guys, because roads like Eric just said, and like we have been saying all morning, are still going to remain bad. So please be watching out for that. They might improve a little bit overnight as those road crews continue to catch up on all that snow. But like we said, a few more of those showers are not out of the question. Mainly light in the Champlain Valley, but a little more steady for the greens, whites, and Adirondacks all the way through the overnight hours. I mentioned some lake effect snow possible coming off of Lake Ontario and certainly some upslope snow as that whole system throughout your Saturday continues to funnel out. Uh, but most of our accumulation on Saturday will be in those higher elevations. Might even get a little sun out there, which would be nice. And we'll have more of that on Sunday as well as that real dry up finally arrives, but it is going to be cold by then. So enjoy the snow, you guys, but make sure throughout the rest of the evening you're being safe. You'll have an opportunity to enjoy that perhaps on the mountain throughout the rest of the weekend. Monday, another round of lighter snow, possible some of that on Tuesday as well. But as you can see, all the way through Thanksgiving, temperatures will be cold.